Ross Kanag was the name of the man in real life who owned this crocodile farm. Had an interesting backstory. Ross Kanag, from what I understand, was a Seminole Indian. His father was uh, put on an alligator show, crop show, and Ross, as a kid, he used to put his head in the uh, mouth of the alligator, and one day the junk, uh, and he was in there for 20 minutes before um, the crop relaxed and let him out. And he had seen his father be eaten alive by crocodiles. Ross knew which ones. He says, that one got my dad. And decided to take over the family business. So they had 1,500 of these creatures. Ross Kananga at one time had a lion, a pet lion that used to patrol the place, and they got to the lion. These things are really lethal, and um, alligators and crocodiles. And then they stuck me on this island, a uh, little tiny island. This was a major production number because all the crocs had to be taken out. And they, and they had these fake crocodiles there, and they were made of foam rubber, and they looked pretty real. And I was stuck on there while Tihi uh, throws out bits of chicken to attract the alligators. They were shooting the sequence, and this mechanical arm is very hard to work. I'm messing with this hook, trying to get it to work right. And I dropped a piece, couple of pieces on the, the side there. I thought it was a rather smart idea when we were doing wardrobe before we started the film. I said, well, why didn't, why didn't I have crocodile shoes? <laughs> Do you think this is a good idea, OK? Uh, I think it's a beautiful idea. And all of a sudden, one of the fake crocodiles starts moving straight for Roger and Julius. Nasty BDI is going like this. And this thing is coming straight for Roger. Well, gun shots went off, Ross Kananga himself threw himself in. Once they see some white flesh uh, and they're swimming, they can leap 20, 30 feet. Everyone went crazy. What a mistake. I had the skin of one of their cousins. Uh, they were out to get me. Kananga was the only man who would try the stunt. You did something you couldn't have paid me a million dollars to do. It had taken writer Tom Mankiewicz only moments to type the words, but it takes Ross Kananga weeks of preparation to create the stunt. We got the crocodiles tied down by their little legs. Ross Kananga dons Roger Moore's outfit for the scene, including the slick heel dress shoes. We now present all five of Ross Kananga's attempts at the death-defying stunt. As he's about to jump, the crocodiles all do this because they're saying, here comes that guy again. Uh, I mean, they, they'd seen the act twice, and so they're waiting for him to jump again. Finally, on the afternoon of December the 31st, Ross Kananga defies death for a fifth time. 